Hello everyone, I'm Steve and uh, near Tulsa, Oklahoma and I'm uh, going to make a quick video to show you my Airstream. Uh, this will be the, a brief video just showing you the basics of the exterior uh, attributes as well as the interior. Then I'll come back and make a detailed video showing you all the details I can for those that are interested further. So beginning with the front, um, first of all this is a 1997 Airstream Classic Excella 1000. It's uh, 34 feet long. It's a triple axle. We'll get to it in a minute. But uh, while we're here at the front, um, we'll start with the 2 and 5 16 ball hitch, breakaway brakes, electric tongue jack, 12 volt. Uh, mounted on the front tongue are two 30 pound propane LP bottles. We have two battery compartments, two 12 volt uh, deep cycle battery compartments, lockable, one on each side. Um, got a picture window. This uh, gravel guard raises up, uh, as do these fold out for cleaning. Uh, then we've got the gravel shields on each uh, curbside and drivers. Uh, also, not shown here is the anti-sway bars that mount to the uh, Airstream hitch mechanism. And those bars tie back here. They're not in this picture today. But they are here and will come with the trailer. Moving on down the curb side, uh, we've got an awning that we'll demonstrate in a little bit. Uh, this is the uh, entry door, uh, 110 volt patio outlet. This compartment is uh, the access to the back of the refrigerator, which is both uh, AC electric and LP gas. So this is the LP gas controls. Again, triple axle. Moving on towards the rear, uh, as you can see, all the awnings are in excellent condition. There's a uh, storage here, it's spacious, and it's underneath the uh, queen size bed that's in the rear of the trailer. Uh, there's quite a bit of storage there, access cabinets on each side. This is a vinyl uh, carry bag for all the uh, custom vinyl heavy duty skirting that goes all the way around the outside of the trailer for uh, wind and, and weather proofing. That skirting mounts under here and goes all the way to the ground. The uh, 110 volt power cord wraps on this compartment right here and closes up. This compartment is uh, for a uh, a city water hookup, your hose hookup. This is the hot water heater, propane hot water heater. In both gray and black water tanks. Again, triple axle. Oh, this is the uh, um, fill up port for this 50 gallon onboard potable water tank. There's a drain for that same tank right underneath this front wheel. Here we have our uh, LP furnace. And this is a storage compartment for the septic hose. So that just about takes care of the outside. Uh, at the beginning, I promised we'd show a demo of the awning, so let me do that. We've already disconnected the top latches there. As you can see, this is a handy tool that Airstream provides. So it can easily be done by one person. If my cameraman will get a, a shot of the top of that awning to show the excellent condition the awning's in. While we're at this juncture, the uh, TV antenna is to your right. It's uh, laid down on the roof, it's not extended. To the right of that is the ventilation fan for the front living area. 
Moving to the left towards the back, the large white shroud is the uh, rooftop air conditioner. Then next to the left of that, the aluminum is the refrigerator uh, exhaust when it's on propane. And then towards the back are just uh, uh, water uh, outlet vents and then a fan in the uh, queen size bedroom toward the back. So with that, I will uh, raise the awning back up. So uh, that concludes the outside quick look. With that, uh, let's move inside. So now let's uh, take a look at the inside. Uh, as air streams are noted for, everything is good, solid, tight aircraft type construction. This is lockable, has a screen door. Um, so with that, um, first of all, when you come in the entrance, there are two switches right here. One is for a porch light uh, or a step light outside a night light and then the next is the uh, high and low living room lights here so when you're coming in the front door you can have lights immediately this is the living area um, queen size sofa over the tongue the entry door is on the curb side the this is the driver's side. Um, my cameraman is sitting in the dinette and kitchen area. We'll show you that in a little bit. Um, let me show you the pull-out sofa right quick. If you'll see this just jackknifes and pulls out and makes into a queen-size bed. There's storage under each arm under this. If I could ask my cameraman to come here and uh, get a good look at this upholstery, it's uh, in practically new condition. I don't know if we have good enough lighting. If you look up here, there's no wear. This is good, tough, uh, quality material. There are dinette tables here and here that raise up. There's uh, under counter storage here, here under here um, this is uh, there are two Airstream lawn chairs that store right here uh, they're in good condition everything in this unit is completely original it's original condition it's original carpet uh, that's evidenced by the protective film along the edges well, you might take one look here. Here's a propane detector. And this is the switch that I was talking about earlier. Okay, so this is the dinette area. It seats four. The table lowers to make a surface where the cushions can pull together to make a bed for two persons. The uh, pull-out sofa, queen sofa, uh, sleeps two as well as the queen bedroom in the rear sleeps too. So the, the unit as a whole sleeps six. Uh, the original owner's manuals right here. I am the, I am the second owner. I purchased this unit in 2005 from a lady in Salt Lake City, Utah. Um, we have plenty of storage here as well as here. You'll notice the quality oak finish cabinetry uh, representative of Airstream's quality for storage here. Yeah, so the kitchen area again ample storage uh, microwave uh, an implement garage there built-in trash can receptacles lockable cabinets under sink storage a double double sink and uh, three burner gas range, LP gas range.
All right, uh, mounted in the ceiling, rooftop is a uh, Duotherm Penguin 2 15,000 BTU air conditioner, heat pump air conditioner. The heat pump heats the unit down to approximately 30 degrees in the winter. Below that, you'll use the LP gas furnace that's uh, central ducted. The furnace controls are here. Uh, heat pump and AC controls are here. Um, a refrigerator freezer that works on both AC electric as well as LP gas. Moving towards the rear of the coach. First the bathroom. My cameraman will just step in there. I'll talk from here. Um, have the stool, the lavatory, storage behind the mirror, cabinets, both above and below. And this is more of the central ducted heat. Moving to the right is the shower stall. Uh, we have a double cedar line clothes closet for both his and hers with uh, automatic lights, cedar lined, and then let's close this door. So to show you the rest of the closet from this vantage point, you can see it again, and if you'll move down this way, the bottom of the closet raises up, and this is the 12 volt water pump if you're not connected to city water and you're using the onboard water storage. So now for the uh, for the bedroom. Queen size bed, storage under the bed, right here and a pull-out drawer. There we go. Pull-out storage drawer. Again, more storage overhead, well lit. The furnace controls bedside. And the uh, 110 volt breaker panel with five circuits is right above here. Got a uh, power vent fan as well as his and her storage both left and right. Emergency access windows are each of these. They push out with just flip of one latch. Have a 110 volt power uh, here for a possible TV or anything else one might want to place on here. We've got uh, two skylights both uh, aft and forward. vent fan in the bathroom and that concludes uh, this part of our interior video thank you